Hi everyone, I'm John Sinclair and I'm the co-founder and chief movement engineer of Seven Movements. Welcome to the Seven Movement Morning. What we're going to take you through today is just a little bit of a lesson on mobilizers. So a mobilizer is a slow, subtle movement, specifically for different regions of the body. Today we're going to use mobilizers for the hips. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the hip complex and how we might create a little bit of motion around this area and try to get you to have a little bit of more extensibility in the hip. So the first thing I like to do is we're just going to test how well the hips are moving by just doing something simple like perhaps a squat. So let's just do some squats here for five or six of them. Get a sense of what it feels like in the hip joint itself, in the lower back and in the, the outside of the hips. And then we're going to do some mobilizers and see if we can improve that movement, okay? So first one I'm going to have you do, we're going to go into a staggered stance. So let's put one foot further forward than the other. Your hands are going to be on your hips. And all we're going to do is we're just going to tilt to the side like you're a boat in the ocean, just moving with the waves. So again, we're going real, real slow as I move from side to side. So while the pelvis is tilting side to side, you can sense and probably feel there's some really groovy things going on in the hip here. And then on the outside hip here, inside of the hip here. And you're also probably sensing that you got some motion happening at the foot and the ankle. That one foot is doing something differently than the opposite foot, which is really, really cool. Okay, so we're gliding side to side here. Okay, and then we want to do it the other way. So we're going to put the other foot forward. And same idea, we're driving the hips side to side. Real slow and subtle motion for the hip. So I'm not trying to move very far, that's the subtle part, but I'm also not trying to move very fast. It's the slow part, okay? We're really stretching the connective tissue, i.e. the fascia that's around these joints and what attaches to the bony areas that make up the joints in these real strategic spots, okay? So that's one version. The next one we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to that staggered stance. So I think I had this one for it last time. And this time the pelvis is gonna tilt back and then we're gonna tilt it forward. So we don't have to go too far here, but you should feel if your hands are on the front of your hips that you feel like you're the boat is moving forwards and backwards. So if your boat is your pelvis, you're just feeling that boat rocking to and fro. Okay, so you'll feel a bit of a stretch in the back of this back hip here. And then when you go forward, you're gonna feel a bit of a stretch in the front hip on this trail leg. Back and forth there. Okay, and then we're gonna do the other side. So we'll stagger the other foot forward, tilt that tail back, forward so that you get, feel like a nice stretch through the front of the hip here. Real slow and subtle. One more time. There we go. And then the third one and the last one we're gonna do is we're gonna go with some rotation. So we're still gonna stay in that staggered stance. I'll maybe go straight on so you can see what my hips are doing. I got one foot further forward. Oh, well, I guess start with this one. And then I'm going to rotate the pelvis slowly. So it's like I'm rotating the torso. I'm gonna end up rotating the pelvis and that's gonna cause some rotation in and around the hip joint. pelvis is rotating, the trunk is rotating, and we're going to let the eyes rotate with. So when the eyes rotate with it, the trunk wants to go with it too. It'll take us through a little bit more greater range of motion in these hip joints. Known as the iliofemoral joint. Okay, then we're going the other side. and slow. So today we've targeted the hip joint. We can do this for the knee joint. We can do it for the foot and the ankle. We're going to do it through the 
spine. We do all these mobilizers in some different ways. Each week when you tune in, I'm gonna give you something new to learn. So not only is this gonna be a cool learning experience, we're gonna talk about what's important, what you're gonna do throughout the day today, how you're gonna offset some of the stress that you have to make sure that we start to build a streak. When I mean building a streak, we wanna to try to create opportunities to incorporate movement throughout our day to enhance our capacity to move and make it easier as we age. Okay, so we're just gonna march this out a little bit. Now let's go ahead and try a little squat. And you should feel like you're moving a little bit better in these regions. Okay. I know I'm certainly feeling like I'm moving a little bit better in there. So that's something I'm gonna start to focus on every morning when I first get up. As I get up, I'm gonna drink a little bit of water, walk around, do your business, get your tea going. And while your tea is brewing and steeping, this is an excellent way to just start getting some motion in the hips. Maybe you were at the office for a long period of time that day, or maybe you were sitting watching some really cool shows the night before. This is an excellent way to free up some motion around the hips and make it so that you take away some of the stress that's going on, not only hip the joint, but the joints below being the knee and the joints above being the lumbar spine. So I hope you really enjoyed that one today. Come back next week. We're gonna keep giving you lots of cool little strategies that you can start to incorporate to build out a more robust plan for your healthy aging.